Hello, this is Parker 51 guy with a video as a reply to a question in the comments section by a account under the name of Dave Jenkel. Uh, essentially Dave's question was, can you replace the clip and the stud, which uh, I assume he means the cap jewel, on a Parker Vacumatic? Uh, this was a question to my Parker Vacumatic restoration video. The simple answer is yes. Uh, the actual answer is hopefully. Uh, there's a couple variables here. One of them is that um, th you can get a new cap jewel. Now this uh, pen is a uh, <clears throat> emerald pearl uh, debutante model which is a smaller pen than the full size Vacumatic or the um, the Maxima, which is you know the, the large oversized version. Um, so depending on what kind of cap jewel you need, uh, this one is a striped one, and you can see it's got the lines, the alternating greenish colors, celluloid with the black. Um, whereas um, most of the later models use just a plain black cap jewel. Now the second part of that is, can you get a new clip? Um, and to the both those parts, uh, I'm sure they're probably out there. It just depends on how much they're going to cost you as well as finding them. So there's tons of places on the internet, whether it be online auction sites or uh, vintage pen uh, supply sites that might have parts salvaged uh, from broken pens that you could get them from and I, I'm not going to be able to recommend any one particular site I mean sometimes you have to sift around now as far as how you do this I'm, I'm going to take the cap off the pen and uh, ideally um, the, the jewel is going to come out of there really easy now I'm going to show you this has already been removed uh, I went through all the steps carefully doing this that includes applying heat to here, um, moderate heat, and also conservatively doing it, meaning uh, you don't want to heat it up to the point where it's going to melt that. Secondly, um, you can I use actually just a hair dryer, and to do the to focus the uh, heat on the, the the jewel part, I just used cut a hole through a piece of cardboard, and then I put that in front of the stream close to the nozzle, and then just turn it in the stream um, once again I use the you know upper lip test touching it and you know if it's uh, moderately uncomfortable then I know it's hot enough and then I move on to actually several heating cooling cycles to kind of release that uh, uh, hold of, of the threads on there because here's the way this works you can take a piece of some kind of rubber um, inner tube would be probably best then you're gonna grip the pen and press that jewel down into the rubber and then turn and turn and you don't gent gently at, uh, or at first you're gonna need some pressure but gently as as the uh, the jewel turns out because what's under there is a threaded metal collar and that is the screw uh, that holds the clip into the cap. Um, to access the slot of the screw, you need to start to get that cap jewel out of the screw. And it has a threaded, it's hard to see, but it has threads on the, the shaft that goes down into that and there is the cap jewel. So uh, next, take a screwdriver that will fit that uh, slot in there, which um, right there it is. I'm going to hold that clip so it doesn't spin. And then turn out the screw. Now your clip will come off the cap. Now, of course, if you don't have a clip, 
uh, uh, assume you're going to have the broken part that goes up around the top of the, the lip of the cap. And as you can see, that part is, is the threaded screw. And what you, that actually, you know, the, the jewel fits right down back into there. Um, you want to keep that there. If, if the actual cap jewel broke off, uh, the most accepted method to get what is remaining out of there is to heat that in a flame until the celluloid that's remaining in there just burns out. Um, then once it's burned out, you can take like a, uh, a brush, uh, you know, if you could get a small metal brush uh, after you've broken out the uh, burn up pieces of the old shaft from the cap jewel, then you can clean those threads out and get this screw ready to go back in the cap. So basically, you're going to reverse the steps and, you know, fairly clear, you know, hold it up on the top of the cap, put the uh, screw back in and start it a little and then you just with the flat blade screwdriver tighten it not too crazy but enough now I think originally Parker probably used a sealant on the threads to hold that in there possibly although I'm not obviously first hand knowledge of that but people do say that the jewels were were held in place in there with a little dab of rosin uh, I myself wouldn't recommend it because if you have to take that off again uh, let's not tempt fate um, it's easier to remove if it's not sealed in so then once you get that back on carefully make sure it's in the threads and going and then tighten it down until you basically got it almost all the way in and then what you can do is put it back down on the square of whatever you used to uh, grip it like I said inner tube I'm using a water hose portion rubber hose and then you can just get it tightened back in there and so now you've got the jewel back in so uh, couple tips here basically you can either soak the, the tip of the cap in into some water um, I wouldn't go too deep uh, past the the metal part here because you don't want the the cap itself soaking in water because it's celluloid uh, you know what I did was actually put it in an ultrasonic cleaner um, and ran a few cycles and then took it out and heated it and let it cool, heated it, let it cool, heated it, let it cool. And then um, I actually, when I first took out the cap jewel, the screw actually twisted out with the jewel in it. Um, what I did was I took a little glass and filled it with enough naphtha, which is essentially um, the stuff that you fill a Zippo lighter with. You can get in my at my uh, hardware store I got that and that'll last me forever since I'm not a uh, smoker and I mainly um, use it for cleaning off rosin off of outside edges and stuff when I seal sections and so forth but what I used it here for was I just put enough in the bottom of the glass in the ultrasonic cleaner so I filled the cup of the ultrasonic cleaner up with water put the glass down into the water onto the bottom of the ultrasonic cleaner put the cap uh, jewel screw down into the um, naphtha and just covered it up with the, uh, the minimum amount of naphtha that I needed to do that and then ran the ultrasonic cleaner. What that does is since they used rosin to seal that jewel into the, the clip screw, uh, it, it hopefully will uh, remove that rosin with the naphtha and um, it'll get it in there to the threads and, and penetrate more. I did that a couple cycles and then took it out and then essentially gripped the edge of the, the jewel while I was holding uh, some rubber jawed mini pliers around the threaded part of the clip screw 
and then twisted the um, cap jewel and, uh, loose by hand. Uh, as in anything with the fountain pen, as I found, each situation is going to be different and no scenario is going to be the same for everybody. You're going to run into new things from one pen to another. I cannot by any means go over everything you might run into, but these are some of the things I've encountered. So those are the basics of how you can do that. And I hope that's what you're talking about. Um, when you ask me that question, Dave, because uh, not really sure exactly what you're referring to, but when you mentioned the clip and then the cap stud, I can only assume that's what you meant. So uh, let me know back uh, in the comments of this one if that is going to help you out, and I hope it gave some insight into the the assembly of, of the vacuumatic. And uh, keep your eyes out for new videos in the future. Thanks. This is Parker with 51 Guy, and I'll see you later.